with the anti-tank guided missile. In the long desert approaches that surround Israel, anti-tank missiles can direct the flow of combat and are very effective weapons. While the first ATGMs fielded by Israel were the French SS.10 and SS.11, it was replaced in the late 1970s by the American TOW, or Evan IDF service, missile. However, due to its wire-guided nature, the TOW has range limitations and cannot be used in all circumstances. Bodies of water, trees and power lines can disrupt the TOW's guidance or endanger the TOW's operator. As a result, the Israelis developed a version of the TOW that used laser guidance to avoid these issues. A new engine and improved warhead also gave it superior penetration and speed to the original TOW. The Mapats has seen export success, although it is being replaced by other, newer Israeli ATGMs of wholly indigenous design. While nominally most of the IDF has switched over to the Tavor, variants of the M16 continued to serve in the IDF. However, in the late 1980s and 1990s, these rifles were the frontline rifles of the IDF, replacing the heavier FN full and the Israeli Galil, although Galil carbines remained in service in the Armored Corps, due to their shorter lengths with stocks folded. In the aughts, Israel set about modernizing these rifles. Due to the largely urban nature of combat the IDF infantry engaged in, the long 20-inch and 14.5-inch barrels of the M16S and Colt 653s were deemed too long. The barrels were sawn off to around 12.5-inch length, and the resulting carbines were called Nkutz Rar. Furniture on these varied, but always had an eye towards the practical. Fabric bands could be wrapped around the plastic handguards to make them more rigid and stop them from creaking, red dots were added straight onto the carry handles and stocks were often replaced with modern six-position M4 stocks. The results were relatively modern, lightweight carbines on the cheap. Mkutsrar carbines are still seen in service today, although they've been supplanted by new stocks of M4S and the Tavor series. While the M163 Vans was always considered to be kind of a stopgap solution for the short-range anti-air defense solution for the U.S. military, the Vans saw significant Israeli service in the 1982 Lebanon War. In addition to scoring a kill on a Syrian MiG-21, they provided valuable ground support, suppressing infantry in urban and mountainous areas with their rapid-fire 20mm cannons. While they were phased out of American service in the 1990s and replaced with the better armored but slower firing M6 Bradley linebacker, Israel opted to upgrade its VADs to the new MacBet standard instead, fitting an opto-electronic tracking system, better radar, a quad stinger pod and an ADA network data link to the VADs to make it effective against a wider variety of targets and faster reacting. Israel was one of the first customers for the American F-15 fighter. It has served admirably as the backbone of the Israeli Air Force IAF, throughout the late 1970s to the present day. In addition to its superb performance in the air-to-air -air role during the 1982 Lebanon War, the F-15 was also used in Operation Opera and Operation Wooden Leg, both long-range strike missions. These were done with the addition of some indigenous guidance and sensor pods. While Israel later acquired variants of the ground attack F-15E Strike Eagle under the name F-15 Iram, they also updated their first and second gen F-15s to 